All right, everyone. Uh, this is the uh, promised video on what I'm doing with the corn here. All right, so um, basically what I've done, if you look up here at the top of this one, I have cut off the tassel, the, the, this one here, Ooh, which that one actually just shook off some... Uh, there we go. You can even watch me cut one off. There you go. All right, these little things that are dangling off of it, those are called anthers, and they are the little pouches that actually produce and contain the pollen. And what I've been doing is, is I just simply take them and I put them into a bowl, just drop it right in there, and then every so often I will shake it. And this is just a few of the ones that have been growing here um, that I've actually cut off. And this is just what I've collected this morning and it's a pretty decent amount of pollen. See some of that yellow in the bowl there underneath the little anthers that are now empty. So there you go. And this is just a regular old uh, paintbrush. This is the one that I asked uh, April if I could borrow. Uh, so that's what we're gonna use to apply it here in just a little bit. Now they have grown nice and long. These are called the silks do it this way so I don't block the camera. Now each and every one of these silks, every individual silk, is connected to a corn kernel and each and every one of them must be pollinated because they will create little tubes inside of themselves. They're basically a little conduit so that the uh, uh, pollen spore can actually travel down into the ear and pollinate the kernel which then gives you the corn that is on the cob. So to make sure, uh, two things actually, uh, first one being that you can get all of it in a nice uh, neat way, you want to cut them short like I have this one here which has already been pollinated. See how it's nice and short there and you can possibly even see some of the yellow on the leaf there just below it, that's the pollen. Alright so we're going to cut this one to look just like that. So you just kind of gather it up a little bit like that. And then you give it a nice short cut. Bam. So there you go. And then that's what you have left over. These are the silks. And they're kind of soft and just ever so slightly sticky. Squishy. And a little bit squishy, yes. All right, so now we've done that. Another reason why you want to do that is also because as this ear, the cob, continues to develop, it's going to produce new silks. And when those grow, they will grow out longer. They'll grow out, you know, with the rest of this on them. So you'll know those are new and that you need to pollinate those as well to ensure you get as many of the kernels to swell up as possible so you get nice big ears filled with corn. All right, so now we're just going to take the bowl and I've knocked some of the uh, anther shells off there. We're just going to take the brush, stab it right in there, so you get a nice bit of yellow on it. Except I'm not really getting a bunch. Here we go. Let me scoop this up some. There we go. See? And then you just take that, put it right in there, and bam-o. That's all you got to do. And of course, you'll see the pollen deposited on it. It's kind of like Bob Ross painting those happy little trees, happy little corn plants, happy, happy, happy little corn plants. And there you go. That is the process. So when you're done, you'll be able to see the pollens all over it there. You'll see it all sticking to the silks that you've cut. And uh, that's it. That's the process. So I got a couple more I got to do. See you guys later.